What's up, Italian timers? Welcome back. And in this video, we're gonna translate some sentences from English into Italian. So sit back, get comfortable, and let's start. So how do you say, let's translate some sentences in Italian? How do you say that? Pause the video if you need to, think about it. Here comes the answer. So to say, let's translate some sentences in Italian, you would say, traduciamo delle frasi. Of course, tradurre into the we present form is traduciamo. And then some sentences. So one sentence is una frase, feminine. But if you say some, in Italian they use of the. So di le frasi. But di le becomes delle. So, traduciamo delle frasi. Last thing about this sentence, frase is feminine, but it ends with e. So, when you make it plural, it has to become i. So, delle frasi. Traduciamo delle frasi. Let's go to number two. The second sentence to translate is, why are you doing that? This is a question. Why are you doing that? How do you translate that? Pause the video. Think about it. So to say, why are you doing that in Italian, you would say, Ma perché lo stai facendo? Ma perché lo stai facendo? So first, a lot of times Italians start questions with the word ma, even though there's really no added meaning. Next is we have a continuous tense here. Stai facendo. That means you are doing. Luckily, in Italian questions, you do not have to change the order. You only have to change the intonation of your voice. Perché lo stai facendo? Last thing to notice here is the word lo, which means it or that. And it's the pronoun of the sentence. Why it are you doing? Perché lo stai facendo? You could also say perché stai facendo quello, but it's probably more natural to say perché lo stai facendo? Why it are you doing? Let's go to sentence number three. Sentence number three is, I'll explain it to you later. This is a little difficult, so think about a positive video. I'll explain it to you later in Italian. So to say, I'll explain it to you later in Italian, you would say, te lo spiego dopo. Only four words, te lo spiego dopo. Let's unpack this. Explain it to you, we have a double pronoun, pronome doppio. So you would say, to you, it, I explain after, because in Italian to say later, you can just say dopo, later, after. So te lo spiego, or also you could say spiegero, future tense, dopo. Te lo spiego dopo, I'll explain it to you later. Literally, you, it, I explain after. Okay, let's go to number four. Number four is, I like to think about the beautiful things of life. I like to think about the beautiful things of life. It's a little bit of a strange sentence, but there's some stuff I want to unpack and cover in the sentence. How do you say that in Italian? So to say, I like to think about the beautiful things of life in Italian, you would say, mi piace pensare alle cose belle della vita. Okay? So let's start simple. I like to think, mi piace pensare. So with a verb after piacere, you can use the infinitive. Mi piace pensare. Think about, in Italian they say think at, pensare a. So mi piace pensare a, and then the nice things, the beautiful things, le cose belle. Mi piace pensare alle cose belle of life della vita. Usually life in Italian is the life, so della vita. Mi piace pensare alle cose belle della vita. Okay? Last sentence is, we used to talk to each other every day. How do you say that in Italian? We used to talk to each other every day. Think about it. Pause the video. So to say this in Italian, you would say ci parlavamo tutti i giorni. Ci parlavamo tutti i giorni. So notice talk to each other. It's almost reflexive, right? So I'm talking to you. You're talking to me. 
So in Italian, you can just say ci parlavamo, like to us, we talked, and then every day, tutti giorni, which means all the days. So notice last that this verb tense is the imperfetto, because we didn't just talk once, we talked every day, so it's ongoing and it's lasting, so it should be imperfetto. So not abbiamo parlato, but ci parlavamo tutti giorni, okay? So guys, let's stop there. I hope you learned something from this video as always. And if you're looking for kind of a fun show full of Italian chatter and Italian lessons and grammar points and just a way to listen to t simpler Italian, something that when I was learning Italian, I really wish I could have had, check out Sonia's and my Italian show called Italian Breeze. It's basically a podcast, but also video where she and I chat in Italian. We talk about the Italian language. It's really cool. It's something you can listen to on the train or driving. It's about 45 minutes every week. We release a new episode and that's on our Patreon page. So go check that out if you're interested in that type of content. Other than that, I'll stop right there. So thanks for learning with Italian time and I'll catch you guys next time. Okay, peace.